What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy S21 Ultra is Samsung's latest super phone with a bunch of neat new features. So here are the top 10 features of Samsung's latest Ultra phone that are worth a second look. Samsung is taking a page from Galaxy Notebook and introducing the S Pen on the Galaxy S lineup for the very first time. But there are some differences though. One, there is no dedicated slot to put the pen inside the phone as we have on the Galaxy Note. And two, it looks totally different from the Note's S Pen. It's bigger and thicker but has all the bells and whistles of Note stylus. Samsung is selling a couple of cases to carry the pen all the time. But since now you are storing the pen inside the case, it will be wider than usual. Also there are two S Pens available with the phone, S Pen and S Pen Pro. The Pro has every feature of the Galaxy Note such as Bluetooth which isn't available on the normal S Pen. By the way, unlike the Note, you need to purchase these S Pen separately. With the S21 Ultra, Samsung addressed the biggest complaint people had with the S20 Ultra that you can't use 120Hz at a maxed out Quad HD Plus resolution. On the Note 20 Ultra though, Samsung improved the display panel by enabling an adaptive refresh rate that changes the refresh rate from 1Hz to 120Hz depending upon the content being shown, but still there was no 120Hz at Quad HD Plus. But that changes finally with the S21 Ultra. Users can now enjoy the crisp resolution with a smooth 120Hz refresh rate at the same time. The S21 Ultra has a camera feature called Single Take just like the S20 Ultra, but Samsung has now added a dynamic video that maximizes the dynamic motion by slowly playing the part based on artificial intelligence which to be honest looks really good in this demo. The ultrasonic fingerprint scanner has finally been upgraded on the S21 Ultra. It's now 1.6 times bigger than the one on the S20 and Note 20 Ultra. Not only that, it's faster too. You don't even need to press on it, just a tap would unlock the phone. The camera is where the S21 Ultra is seeing the biggest improvement. Unlike the S20 Ultra which only has one zoom lens, this one has two, one for short range and another for long range zoom. Also the optical zoom range is now doubled to 10x which means clearer zoomed in pictures. You can also zoom up to 100x digitally and to make sure the camera is not shaky, Samsung will let you lock the zoomed in picture by pressing the zoom lock to take better and blur free photos. Director's view is a really cool feature for video nerds. It allows recording from multiple lenses at the same time including the front camera. It shows the live view from all the cameras on the screen and you can switch to any of the lenses with just a tap on it. Also you can record 4K videos from all the lenses, something that wasn't possible on the S20 Ultra. And for people who like to record videos at their default auto full HD setting, Samsung has introduced variable frame rates ranging from 30 to 60 FPS versus a fixed one on the S20 Ultra which means a video that looks natural and smooth at the same time. Night mode has also been improved dramatically thanks to a faster lens and noise reduction technology. The difference is a big one as you can see in this video. The S21 lineup has a new 5 nanometer processor which not only is around 30% faster than last year's handsets but is more power efficient too. Unlike previous years, you won't find any performance disparity between the Exynos and Snapdragon variants, both will perform on par with each other. Ultra wideband chip on the S21 Ultra means a faster and convenient file transfer with other UWB enabled chip, but you can also use it to locate other devices. Samsung has also introduced a smart tag which is basically a tracker you can attach to your bag, car keys, etc. And with the SmartThings Finds app on the S21 Ultra, you can see the exact location and find your missing item. 
The S21 Ultra is also a specification king with up to 16GB of RAM and 512GB of storage. The base will start from 12GB though. But with the S21, Samsung has also taken some weird decisions such as removing the charger and headphones from the box and removed the option of an expandable memory card slot. But thankfully, they've also reduced the prices compared to last year. Now, the S21 Ultra starts from $1199 down from $1399 of the S20 Ultra, which is highly appreciated. Of course, with that being said, do let me know what do you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.